Welcome to Grilling with Cold Moo. On today's episode, we're trying out the Diablo Dare from Arby's. Uh, Arby's, if you didn't know, has a Diablo line of uh, foods right now. I guess they're just spicy. They have a whole TikTok thing. It's whatever. I bought the roast beef Diablo. We got the Diablo loaded fries, which they just threw in a bag sideways, so most of the hot sauce is on the lid. I was very tempted to get the curly fries because as we all know, the curly fries are the superior fries. However, all the marketing material shows the crinkle fries, so we had to go with that. The Diablo Dare comes with a free shake. However, they also have this cinnamon caramel shake right now, so I had to get that instead. Because the free one's just vanilla. Alright guys, let's dig into some fries. See what that's all about. Now typically, I'm not a huge fan of Arby's. Uh, <laughs> somebody in this household definitely is. How dare you! Um, so, when I do go to Arby's... Uh, what I'll like to get is the buffalo chicken sandwich, which is actually pretty dang good. You got your theater style nacho cheese, and you have a barbecue? Yeah, sort of a barbecue based sauce. I am a huge fan of spicy barbecue sauce. Now, the thing is, they call this the Diablo Dare. It, it feels like I ate some paprika. That's how spicy it is. It's got nothing. Nothing. However, the fries are delicious. I love it. <laughs> Cheese, barbecue, the faintest hint, memory of the spice. You got some uh, green onions on there. I gotta say, that's a pretty good loaded fry. Especially if I'm looking at comparison of like... I don't know, a Wendy's that does that. There's probably somewhere else that does that fast food style. But this one, not half bad. Let's try the, the super messy sandwich with the prismatic beef. Prismatic beef. I think the main thing I don't like about an Arby's roast beef is just the amount of beef. <laughs> the amount of sweaty prismatic beef is just... Unbecoming of a lady. Hey! When you pack it up with the the sauce here, the spicy sauce, um, the extra accoutrements, the bun which has, I think, jalapenos baked into it, it's actually pretty good. It's too bad that this is like some random like Halloween event thing because if this was the standard, I would be, you know, I'd be kind of happy to get this. As far as spice level goes, this is somewhere between Thousand Island and ketchup. <laughs> oh no. It is not spicy whatsoever. If you think big red gum is spicy. Yeah, then this, this is, is spicy. Sandwich for you. So that's that's pretty disappointing. I think it'll have to cost it some points, even though the overall flavor profile here I am into. They call it the Diablo Dare, so I have to do it. We'll just fast forward through this, but just to show you that we are doing the dare, not touching the shake until I'm done. We're doing it. Ah. And we're done. All right, so, story time. The other day at work, we went to pho for lunch. With the pho, you get a little plate of stuff, you know, the basil, the bean sprouts, the whatever. A little tiny slice of the jalapeno. Of course, I load up my pho. Jalapenos, sriracha, they had sriracha there. I almost stole it, because you can't find it in these stores. As I'm eating my pho, I decided to pick up one of the tiny slices of jalapeno and eat that. Ooh. A little spicy, it's jalapeno. That one piece of jalapeno was more spicy than this entire meal. I understand you don't want to make it too spicy so it won't appeal to people, 
But if you're putting on a challenge, it has to have at least a little bit of a challenge to it. So, if you do this again, amp up the spice. This is somewhere, this must be like 72 Scoville. How did it taste? It was delicious. I love that, that barely spicy barbecue. Uh, the cheese was great. The sandwich was tasty. It's like one of the only times I enjoyed eating an, a, a roast beef Arby's. How do you rate that? I don't know. You tell me. I would probably like just for flavor alone, if this was a normal meal, it's like seven and a half, maybe even close to an eight with the fries. Diablo dare. Get the fuck out of here. Let's finally try this shake and wrap it up. Cinnamon caramel. What am I getting out of this? I'm getting standard vanilla. Somewhere buried in there, there's a caramel sauce that you get a whiff of. And is there cinnamon in here? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe our Arby sucks. Maybe our Arby's does suck. This... I mean, you can tell it was headed in that direction. Hey, look! I see cinnamon and caramel. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you can tell that happened. However, it's pretty disappointing in flavor. If you want a uh, frozen milk-based beverage to go with your fast food, uh, I, you want to stick with the Wendy's or even the McDonald's. It's not like it's bad. It's just not what it says it is. Again, I was sold a bag of lies. That's what happened today. Some of the lies were tastier than others. Overall, though, would I recommend you try the Diablo Dare? No. But I would say go out and get the, the roast beef sandwich. I bet the chicken sandwich is probably the best. And try the loaded fries. The fries were good, too. This has been Grown with Colt Moo trying out Arby's new Diablo Dare. Uh, if you've tried it, let me know what you think. Let me know if yours was spicy somehow. Go ahead and check out all the social deets down below. Hit like, subscribe, and share. Um, go ahead and check us out on the Twitch. Lofi does that. I say I do that, but I don't really. <laughs> I need a new computer, guys. <laughs> Somebody help me. <laughs> Grandma's dying. Grandma's dying. She's not long for this world. I'm going to have to edit videos with my phone.